Hello everyone. So in this video, let us go over the problem that is easy as well as interesting. And as well as you have also heard this name a lot of places that is you have to invert a binary tree. It's a very easy problem and we'll understand it how you can do that. So you're given the root of a binary tree and you have to just invert the tree. So about its uh, root. So we'll go through this example how what actually inversion is. So you just have to take out the image about the center of this root you can see. And every node is like invert, like mirror image to each other, like it is inverted. Okay, you can just assume that there is some invisible line going through this root like this, and just rotate this whole tree about it. So now this seven will come to here, and this this seven come come to here. So this nine will come to this position, and this this six will come to this position. So everything is rotated like this. And uh, similarly, it is given to you, and you have to turn the answer. Now, how you can go over such a problem? In most of your tree problems, if you have to do some traversal, yeah, there are different traversal methods. So what you can see here is first try to understand what you are trying to achieve here. Let us try to do, draw one example. This is the tree. Now if you want to invert this, you have to pass a let's say invisible line like this. And then the whole tree will be inverted about this. Like you can just say that you are rotated about this point okay around this line so what you can see that this will remain at this point but this will come to this point like it is rotated so this will come to like this and this will come like this here similarly when you rotate this this both the nodes will also be rotated so first it is having on the left hand side 2 is having 4 now on the left 2 on the left hand side it is having 5 and the right hand side will have 4 3 has on the left hand side 6, now it will have on the right hand side 6. So what you are trying to do is that for every node you just have to swap the left and the right pointer. So every node has two pointers, let's say pointing towards this left node and the right node, left child or right child. So you just have to point that, okay this is the left child and right child. For every node you can just do a traversal and for every node just reverse it because see, for what you can do is that if I just move out this part. Let's just reverse the whole tree about one and just the first two like the this and this are reverse only. So what you can see that if I take just the first node, first node remains the same. If I just reverse this, this becomes three, this becomes two, and just I just take the whole subtree because this pointer like towards this node will show the whole subtree. Okay. If I just take the whole subtree like this, what I've done is that I've called a function and I've just re reversed the pointers so there is one pointer pointing towards left so this node has two pointers to left and right child so left child will point to this node and right child will point to this node now i just switch out these two pointers so left now points to this node so now this will just switch and this tree will become like this but this is the left half so the left half and the right half so if the tree remains same then you just switch the first part but now what you can do is that you have to also switch for this node the left and the right so this is pointing towards null and this is left is pointing towards 6 but I want that on the left right hand side it should be 6 and on the left hand side it should be null. So what I am trying to do is that for every node you recursively just switch its left and right pointers like just reverse them out. That's our problem for every node okay just traverse them. So first I will switch all of all the nodes on the left hand side and right hand side. So the left sub tree and the right sub tree are switched and become like this. Now I move to this node I will switch the left sub tree and the right sub tree. Similarly, for this node, left subtree, right subtree. For this node, left subtree, right subtree. So there is no left subtree, right subtree. So nothing is reversed. Similarly, null. So it is like nothing is there. Left subtree, right subtree, left subtree, right subtree. For every node, just reverse them because for inversion, which means that every node is for every node, the left and right tree or like the left half is inverted. That's the whole logic. We just have to do a like a recursive traversal and just do this part. That's the whole problem for it. So the solution for this problem. So let's move on to code part now. So what I've done is that uh, just this is a recursive function. So if the root is null, then we do nothing. Then we write on the root as well. Now what I'll do is that I will just swap. So you can either like write down like because you have to swap the left and the right node uh, pointer values. So you can just store them and then reverse them, or I can just you can directly swap them out. So swap is the function provided by C plus plus. So you can just swap out the root left and the root right by its value. So 
root left value is swapped by root right value and root right value is swapped by root left value. So if you have two variables, let's say a and b, if you want to swap these two values, then you just, you just use the swap function. So swap the values of a and b. So that's what the so value should in root of left and root of right. Root of left is pointing towards the left node subtree and the right is pointing towards the right subtree. So just swap out these two pointers. And now when you have swapped out, call this same function again on the left node and the, as well as the right node so go to the left node so root of left root of right call this function again because this function is actually used to reverse like invert or swap the left and the right node pointers so swap go to left and right swap go to left and right and then you sit on the root that is the solution for this problem so this is traversing over the whole tree so it is o of n because there are n nodes for every node we are doing this inversion so n times we have like n nodes so n times it is traversing so total of O of n is a time complexity for this problem. There is space complexity. There is no extra space is used. So O of 1 is used to space complexity. That is the whole problem. So overall, I'm just talking about the function itself, not the whole problem. So that's the whole solution, the code part for this problem. If you still have doubts, you can mention it in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next one of the coding and bye.